Greetings and welcome back everyone to Rimworld and to the town of a Muffalo Marsh where, well, to be perfectly honest, it feels like the gods themselves are having a bit of, well, a bit of a competition to see who can mess with our day the best. Uh, left index finger shot off, a scar on the left eye, Bonnie has lost their whole left arm, right eye, left big toe, left pinky, rib, ugh. And farty, right eye has got a scratch. Both ears are kind of all messed up. Also got Alzheimer's. And Bentham, ugh, so many eye wounds. So many eye wounds. Um, You're a reasonable character. Honestly, Pira, you tried to escape. I'm sorry, but no. Have you got two good eyes? Yes, you do. And Pira... I want those eyes. I'm going to be honest with you. I want them. And I'm going to have them. Unless I can't take them. Oh no! I can't take your eyes. Wow, that's rubbish. How rubbish is that? Well, is there anything I need? No, just the right eye. Really, Well, the ears, but I don't believe I can remove those. Harvest heart, lung, right lung, left kidney, right kidney, liver, euthanized. Okay, well, without the uh, expanded um, organs mod, it doesn't look like we can easily harvest replacement parts. That is incredibly, incredibly sad. Oh, well, we're going to have to make do where we can then. Are we uh, running this? Yes, we are. Bentham, are you bleeding? Hmm. Well, it's a scar, so you're not bleeding as such. Okay, well, uh, let's just let everyone carry on. Get things sorted. Harvest all of the good bits. We'll see what we can do. Ah, <sighs> right. Pira is no longer incapable of walking. Bonnie has failed to recruit Ben. Uh, well, you know, that's going to happen. Now, there are some... No... Uh, aging trees outside that we could possibly go out and gather. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and set that up. Can we get them? Yes, we can. That is actually remarkably good. I would like that brought in soon. Um, it's unconscious. Eh, don't really want someone walking right up to that and smacking it, honestly. Uh, let's have a look at our assignments. Xandria is our reaper. So Xandria... Needs to be given something good uh, for a reaping. We got a normal plasteel knife there. Have we got anything particularly strong? I don't think we do. The steel spear might be nice though. Melee damage is 16. Melee cooldown 2.3. Whereas the plasteel knife is 10 with a melee cooldown 1.33. Um. But it's going to have a much better reach, I would imagine, at the very least. There's a shoddy marble club, a good granite club, 12 at 3.65. How long is the spear? 2.3. Now, the spear looks like it's probably one of the better ones for me, honestly. Uh, we've got a shoddy steel mace, but I doubt that's going to be any better. No, okay, Xandria, you are actually going to go and equip the spear. Go grab that. Thank you. Are any of these things sleeping? No. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, well, I would like a bunch of people to equip themselves with pistols or better if we have them. Go ahead and grab the personal defense weapon. And Bentham, I want you to be armed and head up there. Farty, you're actually not too bad. Let's get you into position, let's say, here. And we are going to have my unit here. First, take this out. There we go. Then go for the hair. No. Okay, please don't shoot past each other. I should have uh, stopped from doing that, honestly. Uh, how about I move you guys in so that you can start putting these fires out? There we are. Well done. Can you put that one out as well? Perfect. Right, let's move over here. Let's get in some positions here. 
we're going to wipe out these. Now, there's really nothing that says you can't have your soldiers do the hunting. And honestly, I feel that that is probably a safer way of doing it. Like, much safer way of doing it. Continue shooting. There we go. Now we'll take out some of the deer as well, if we can. Ooh, disease infection. Peter has got an infection. Well, you know, hopefully they can survive, but... I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to say that I'm not going to particularly be upset or losing any sleep if they don't. That's you. Let's start work on you. Now, we're doing enough damage at this point that we're probably going to wipe them all out simply from continued wounds. They will bleed to death at this rate. Uh, you can get you there. Go ahead. We really need some better guns, though, because this has taken far too long. I remember a time when we had charge rifles that would have made this trivially easy. There we are. Keep firing. And once that's done... In fact, some of the spread bullets are hitting other really. Please, just put it out of his misery, my lord. You sadistic swines. There we are. And finally, down here. And take it out, please. Wonderful. Very, very wonderful. You can go ahead and head back in. But I really desperately want those things brought back indoors as soon as possible. Now, blocked by roof. Oh, no. Drat. Okay. Well, that was me being a massive derp. We need this. Oops. Need a no roof area like this. There we go. They should now start. Ah, what an idiot I was. Okay, well, we want a lot of things hauled, so we're going to be going, uh, re-switching back down to hauling. There we go. So three people are going to be doing it pretty actively. I want these corpses brought in, please. The eclipse is ending. Good. Our batteries are going to start charging up again. That is good times. Got a cougar in there. It's fine, it's refrigerated, it won't spoil, and we're starting to bring in the bodies. Excellent work. At least one of them. Now, how's things going down there? Well, you know, not too bad, I suppose. We've got a little bit of eating going on in the eatery. And where are you off to? You off to gather some corpses? Good, 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 good. That's right, let's bring all of these in. We don't want them to spoil, after all. I just went to the effort of going and uh, killing them all after. Uh, well... I was going to say we wouldn't want to waste the bullets, and that's purely a roleplay sense, because you don't actually have bullets. And thankfully about that, because uh, we do have to spend quite a lot to kill something. But that being said, I would actually really enjoy having bullets be something you have to uh, consider. Now, how are we doing for steel? We're not doing steel, which is a problem. Got loads of plast steel. Ooh, a siege, really? Okay. A group of pirates from the Dark Merchants have arrived in drop pods nearby. It looks like they want to besiege our colony. <sighs> That's not so good. Pira, how are you doing? And what kind of character are you? I'm actually really not sure that I want to keep you. So I'm going to release you. Ben, on the other hand, fairly sure we want Ben. But I want to make that, that uh, bed available. Um, hmm. Where are you off to, Bentham? That's a lot of people down there. Where are they going to set up their camp? Okay. Now, let's have a look. They've got grenades. You have got a pistol. You've got a personal defense, a superior personal defense weapon, a steel shave. Doesn't look like you've got any snipers. Oh, that's going to be good. Unfortunately, our snipers can't hit the broad side of a barn right now because most of them have lost eyes. But on the, the plus side, you know, I'm sure we can we can uh, make this work for us. Go ahead and equip the... Oh, well, that's actually a bad one. Go ahead and equip this survival rifle, please. Bentham. For you, Bonnie, Buttercup, and Farty are all going to go and start harassing these. Right, we'll make our way down here for now. Then across. From here we should have decent enough sight. Can you snipe them? No? Hmm. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that you'd be able to. 
Head on down there then. Bonnie, you do the same. Oh dear, you might be a little bit too close there. No, you're good. Fantastic, right. Farty, I want you there. I wish we had some better cover for you guys, but we do not. We'll just have to see how we can do this. Now, we've let them leave. Uh, uh, relations have improved by 15. Let's actually have a look. Um, it was with the spaces. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure that that's actually a faction that we can have positive qualities with. Ay, 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 ay. So please take them out. Quickly at that. Okay, well, that's getting damaged. Oh, dear. Where's that going to land? Xandria, please don't get hurt. Ow! All right, Xandria, go start putting these out, please. Managed to drop it right on top of our stuff. Those scallywags. Well done there. Let's see what we can do. Well, that one is going to fire in a moment. That is a bit of a concern. They've reloaded. This one is probably going to get broken fairly soon. Just from stray shots. It's that one that I'm worried about, though. Ooh, well done. It's going to explode. There we go. The other one is on fire. It will probably go down by itself at this point. That actually worked out well. We've lost whatever materials would have been invested in it, but we can make do with that. It's coming down. It's down to 60%, which is great. That's right. Keep up the shooting. Honestly, if we can just hurt enough of them, eventually they'll just die from their wounds because they don't tend to heal themselves. They've already lost quite a few um, quite a few of the more dangerous weapons there. Well, they've lost one of them, I say a few. But uh, a few in terms of if you were like assessing them by points or trying to grade how dangerous they were based on points, they, they, they've lost a lot of their combat potential here. So, oh, damn it, Zandri's on fire. Oh, we've lost a solar generator and a turbine. Oh, that's terrible. What an awful shot that was. Oh, well done. So another one down. They are aggro to us now, though, which is bad times for us. But we're just going to hold our position and do our best. Right, they're assaulting the colony, which is not good times for us. Keep it up. Keep it up. Hold hold your ground. Okay, time to be moving. Go. Farty, you too. Go. On the move. Ah, Bentham got caught. You were shot in the torso. It's trivial blood loss, though. It's fine. Come on, snipers. Do a Oh, well done. Ah, Buttercup just got hit. Gunshot in the right arm. Not so grand. Let's see what we can do. Oh, better cap again. Foot this time. Hmm. Not liking that. Right, Xandria, are you taking care of all the fires? Yes, you have. Right, I want you down here now. You're up. I need you to get involved in this fight. Buttercup needs to seek some cover. In fact, actually, Buttercup, you head back. And then up. Bonnie should be okay. Oh, there's a fire. Oh, damn it, the flammability down here is unfortunate. In fact, fact, it will pop you out there and you should be able to control that fire for us. Watch out, Bonnie. Ah, oh, damn, they're a good shot. Shot in the torso. Okay, Bonnie, you get back there and you're going to go into a sniper duel. Pull back. Time to not be there anymore. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, well done. Very, very well done. Right, Buttercup. How about we get you back over here? In that case... You're going to be making your way out there that way. Go ahead, Andrea. You go and uh, take care of yourself. And we'll do our best. We've got one downed. Let's have a quick look at you. Hard worker, chemical fascination. Incapable of social, artistic, or cleaning. Uh, you haven't got really particularly good skills, honestly. I think we'll probably be letting you go. 
Poor mood. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Actually, Bantham. Can we take out Clements before they get out? Nope. Again, my snipers can't hit the board side of a barn, unfortunately. Alright, Zandria, go take care of that. If you would be so kind. There we go. And as for everyone else, uh, Bantham, you're good to go. Oh, very nice shot there, Farty. Alright, you're both clear as well. Bantham. Bantham's going to take care of hauling, actually. Okay. Right, well, I'm afraid you're just going to suffer slowly and die. Because I'm not going to prioritize putting you out of your misery. I am going to instead prioritize stripping people. That includes you. We want all of this good stuff. Fortunately, this body is... It's, yeah, it's gone. There's nothing good going to be coming from that. But we can claim these and break them down. There we go. We've inherited a couple of new weapons, but... Ah, that was costly. That really, really was quite costly for us. We need to rebuild that right away then. So we'll pop this down there. And then a new solar generator. And another solar generator here. Eventually, I'm going to have a solar generator there as well. In fact, you know what? We're going to delete that zone. And we're going to go ahead and build that in. There we go. So we'll have a lot of connectivity with all of our power that way. Well, let's speed things up and see how people do. Bonnie and Zandria definitely need to be healed. Bentham too. Zandria, could you prioritize treating Bonnie? We need to make sure that Bonnie's okay as she is one of our better doctors. Alright, Bonnie. Could you treat Zandria? So we will make sure that our um, medics are taken care of. Bonnie is fully healed. That is fantastic. Now, Bonnie should treat everyone else at this point. And so should Zandria when uh, Zandria's alright. There we go. Not too terribly bad of a situation, that one. Now, I don't really like having hauling on a priority like this. Uh, what is Buttercup? Uh, primary job. Buttercup's primary job is growing. Okay, Buttercup, you can haul. And Bentham's primary job is mining and plant Okay, Bentham, I'm gonna... Uh... No, I do... I really do feel that I need to, to put my foot down on this. I cannot afford to have people doing... Things like uh, hauling and cleaning on a priority one, unless it's absolutely imperative that it gets done. But it's it's really not right now. So we'll do this instead. There we go. We should be fine. Hopefully, this will mean that things will get cleaned soon. There we go. Plenty of things being cooked, which is also awesome. That will be uh, sorted out soon-ish. Buttercup and Bentham, they're a little bit unhappy. In fact, Bonnie, could you please clean this room? J purely because I don't want blood in the hospital. That is really important. There we go. You can just chat with Ben. Maybe we can recruit Ben eventually. 2.5% chance. Unlikely. But you know, we'll continue to try. Right, is everyone okay with eating? Hopefully one of these days, you know, we're going to be able to have a, a bit of time where everyone is just generally happy. And not having to do a million different things. It would be good towards that end to set up our defensive area back here. You know what? That is actually something we should work on. There is plenty of steel around the map right now. It's a fair chunk down here. And I know we got a decent amount over there from the mechanoids. So, that being said... Oh, they've already buried them. Oh, that's grand. I'm really glad that I didn't have to micro that. But, we are out of graves now. So, it's time for us to add a couple more. Let's go ahead and get some graves popped down. Uh, sure. We'll pop these graves in this direction. Just because. Uh, I... Uh, no, we won't, because that'll, that'll hurt my mind. 
Uh, we'll do this instead. I think that's the correct orientation. We'll see. There we go. We're getting some planting done. And generally getting things put around the place. Oh, no. We lack a light. They smashed my light. How rude. My area revealed. Let's go and have a look what that was. Oh. Uh, no idea what that was, but all right. Maybe something got damaged at some point. Hmm. Curious what that. Okay. Bentham continues to haul stuff up, I think. Is Bentham our haul? No, Bentham's our cleaner. Hmm. Well, Bentham, you're not doing a lot of work. I've got to be honest with you. You're just playing chess by yourself, though. Keeping Sharpening the axe. I approve of this. What are you doing now? Oh, you're mining compacted steel. Uh, you know what? No, not for now. We don't need that just yet. What are you doing now? You're mining more compacted steel. Uh, no, you're mining compacted machinery. No to that as well. And to that. And to all of these. Don't need it done. What I need is for Bantham to clean. That's what we need right now. Ah, oh, you're chopping down trees. Everything but cleaning. Bantham, I understand that you don't like to clean, but, you know, you've got a responsibility to the rest of the people in the colony, dude. <sighs> Never trust a Bantham to get any jobs done. Bantham would probably tell you the same thing. He'd probably be the first to say, yeah, I wouldn't be cleaning all that blood. No. I mean, he's reliable, if nothing else. Right, well, it's going to be a night, so hopefully we can get some things on the go. Oh, well done, Farty. Got that door repaired. I'm glad about that. And what are you working on next? Um, wood. Oh, the bed. Excellent. I'm actually pretty happy with that one. Don't worry, you won't be sleeping in the prison ward for long. Oh, I, I do feel a bit of a bit of a jerk, really. They just sat there like, ah, it really does suck to, you know, be sleeping in the prisoner quarters. Gotta be honest. I like the chief medic and the most social person in the colony. I feel that I deserve better than this. You know, even if only by a little bit. I really do think that you, you kind of give me the, uh... Well, I was going to say the shitty end of the stick. And then I was thinking, oh, really? Should I... Would Bonnie be that crude? And then I was like, well, yeah, actually... She's being forced to live in the prison. I think. I think he, no matter how dapper you are, that, that's that's really going to take take its toll on on uh, your vocabulary, if nothing else. What are you up to over there? Let's actually check out your your mood. That being said, you're not actually that unhappy. I'm fairly impressed with that one. Let's check on everyone. Um, Zandria is just amazing. Zandria is. It would take a lot to get Zandria down to the point where it, she would start to break. But Cap's okay. Farty, much the same. And Bantham, yeah, everyone generally seems to be in a reasonable mood. And Bonnie's helping with the cleaning now. Oh, that's good. That is good times. Very good times indeed. Let's let's check on you. How are you doing? Uh, Mood-wise, yeah, you're not doing too bad. You're a night owl in the daytime, though, and you're in a cramped environment. Eh. Well, you know, I can't do much about that, I'm afraid, but we'll try. On the plus side, well, actually, it's not really a plus side. It is time, though, I think, to expand this structure out a lot. We need this thing dramatically increased, because I need this storage room. In fact, you know what? Let's, let's take it all the way down. There we go. And there's not really any reason why we can't have a door there either. So why don't we go ahead, make sure there's power moving through. Uh, there's not yet. We'll bring power across there. Then we're going to install a wooden auto door. And I think the wooden auto door should just go about there. Once this room is built, we'll demolish this wall. I will extend out the, the room in there. Well done there. I'm very glad that you're getting that place all cleaned up now. And getting all the medicine in, that is hugely important. Thank you very, very much. You're also uh, even doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of butchering, which I'm pleased to see. Ben, I'm getting some research done, which means there's no cleaning to do. That is a good time. And there we go. Starting to uh, move around all of these. Let's get those hauled, shall we? Got two bodies there. That's not a great thing. I really actually would love it if you'd get 
the construction done over there. But it looks like we might have to wait till the next episode to see that complete. Hopefully we can get this room built soon. But, but it doesn't look like people are doing very much in terms of construction. It's Farty who's our constructor. And perhaps Zandria should take an increased interest in construction. That being said, uh, no. I'm not going to expect Zandria to do that. Zandria is just going to focus on, on cooking because there will never be a time when there isn't stuff to cook for Zandria, I don't think. Um, there will be, well, and if there isn't, She's got it as a tertiary job, so she can uh, she can get to work on it at that point if there's nothing else she needs to worry about. But the, one of the problems that Fart is experiencing right now is he's having to put, bring the materials up little by little, just having to carry it up there, which is a bit of a pain. That fixed now. We've got one of two. Got a few more components over there, and a heater is down. Well, that's a little bit of a pain. Which one? Uh, it's one in Bentham's room. Uh, I don't think Bentham's going to mind too much right now. But we are going to need to get some more components mined. So let's go ahead, set up a little bit of work for Bentham to do. Not too much in one go because we don't want Bentham to ignore taking care of the, the uh, cleaning tasks. But on the whole, yeah, all right. I'm fairly happy with how this is going. The, the main thing I would like to get done is for people to be buried. I may force that work for Farty to do, just get Farty digging the graves in the morning. But that is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. In the next, we'll be getting people buried and hopefully expanding out our storage room, which in turn will make everything a little bit more efficient. We really do need to recruit some more people, though, so hopefully Ben will join us soon. But that's it from me, so until next time, do take care, everyone.